It's a different kind of gardening. Growing something salty, slimy, and encased in a hard shell. I'm talking about oysters, and today, volunteers picked up spat. That's the seed to start their gardens. Fox 10 News meteorologist Matt Barentine has that story. Over the last decade, storms have ravaged the Gulf Coast, but the damage hasn't been limited to the land. Under the waves, oyster beds have been scoured and buried. These sites have been uh, degraded through storm damage or sedimentation or other, other factors. Good shape to keep them Extension cool. specialist PJ Waters says our local waters need the filtering power of these tasty bivalves, so he's called upon volunteers to garden spat. They're picking up their juvenile oysters or oyster spat. Uh, they'll take them back to their locations where they're growing them, put them in their page cages and start growing them for the season. Tended regularly, the caged oysters grow safely to adulthood. At the end of the season in November, when we harvest or pick up these oysters from our growers, we'll take them and plant them on the different restoration reef sites that we've identified. The population of the oysters in the degraded reefs is down, and so by protecting these oysters for the period of time that we are through the cages, we give them a better chance of survival out on the reefs. And even small numbers make a big difference because just one female oyster can produce 100 million eggs every year. In Baldwin County, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News.